simplifying our kitchens in a way that makes the jobs we do in there easier, like meal prepping and cooking and baking and uh, cleaning, uh, food storage like the fridge and the pantry and the way that I simplify things and pull like with like to be able to make each one of the the jobs in the kitchen a little bit easier. I'm glad you're here. My name is Erica Lucas and I share videos about slow and simple living. I think about kitchen organization in zones, zone organization with five main zones in my kitchen, food prep or meal prep, and then prep when we get home from the grocery store, like fruits, vegetables, meat, utensils, knives, cutting boards, mixing bowls, measuring spoons, measuring cups, food storage, zone two, like the fridge, the, the freezer, the pantry. Zone three would be cooking, baking, which is oven, the stovetop, the microwave, the utensils that go along with cooking and baking, knives, cutting boards, pots, pans, oven, baking dishes, trays. Four would be specialty. The mix, hand mixer that I don't use often, but I use enough to keep. And then fifth would be sort of cleaning tools or under the sink storage. And I do need to make a change in zone one, which prompted me to make this video. I need the cooking utensils closer to the stove. It just makes sense to organize my kitchen this way. And it's not organized that way. Kitchen towels are closest to the stove. That's in a drawer. That's not what I want. So I need to swap those. And I want to talk you through the way that I think about that. And maybe that might help you reorganize a drawer or two in your kitchen to make a little more sense for you. I've got a sink and my stove. The space in between, the counter space in between, is what I most often use for meal prep, especially this counter here. So all the meat cutting, vegetable cutting, fruit preparation when it gets home from the grocery store, all that happens here. So I have my cutting board here. I actually have two, one is in the dishwasher. Right behind me are the knives. And then down there, uh, the strainers for when I wash fruit. Also right nearby. In this opposite cabinet, that's where the crock pot goes, but it's being used right now. And the mixing bowls go right down here. <laughs> the two mixing bowls, we have two mixing bowls in the dishwasher right now, and one in here. We have three mixing bowls. I actually have it in my mind to get more mixing bowls. I, I feel like lately three has not been doing... So the three we have have been working very hard and I want other ones. This is our dinner for tonight. Uh, pineapple salsa chicken by Newman's Own. Poured over three big chicken breasts and then I'm gonna put it over rice and um, a vegetable, whatever vegetables I have in the fridge. The mason jars for fruit storage are all right here because I wash the fruit in the sink, dry it over here, <laughs> and then put it in the containers to go into the refrigerator. So meal prep when I get home from the grocery store for fruit all happens right here. And then meal prep for cooking all happens right here also. So meat, vegetables, whatever needs to be prepped for dinner. This drawer here, uh, we usually have two more of these big towels and then uh, two more of these towels. And that's what's, this is our kitchen towel drawer. It's right by the kitchen sink. So that makes sense to me. However, Lately, I have been wanting simpler access to the items in this drawer. I also want to get an Ikea uh, cut to fit uh, liner thing because my liners just slide all over the place. I've been wanting this to be closer to where we actually cook meals. I don't really want a canister up here that houses the utensils. Uh, I'm trying to keep the counter ugh, countertops as clear as possible. So the first change I'm gonna make is just to swap these. I don't have another place that's really great for the kitchen towels nearby. Um, the next closest available drawer would be this, which is just directly across from this. So yeah, I move three drawers when I can move two drawers. So these obviously need to be closer to the oven too. So they're probably gonna stay in that drawer. So to start, I'm just gonna take this out. So the nice thing about a simplified kitchen is that I really don't have to move many items from my utensil drawer. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this here. 
Okay. That's our new towel drawer. So now I'm not gonna make this the utensil drawer. There's just like stains. I wanna get an Ikea, it's like a cut to fit drawer liner. That's what I want. So that it's totally fit to this drawer and it won't slide anywhere. But for now, I don't have that. So I'm just going to have to put them directly in there. We have a list on our fridge. When we want something, we just add it to the list so that when there's extra disposable income, we can choose from this list what would be next to buy. My son added VR headset, get real. So uh, Ikea drawer liner and mixing bowls, those are on my list. We also need a new printer. The boys wanted some dressers that match their nightstands. I want some planner boxes. Andy wants a new Kindle. I would love a ceramic KitchenAid bowl. It's like a white, a uh, hobnail ceramic kitchen table. It's $80. It's an unnecessary expense. Because I have this one, um, I just don't like the, the metal. Let's make sure that has a hole. Okay. And I also just take this opportunity to make sure that everything that I actually am, I have, I want to keep, which I do. Okay, I still use everything. No duplicates that are unnecessary. One thing I would like possibly would be measuring cups and spoons. That's what's gonna move into here. And the all of the measuring cups are in here. So I gotta get those out. Yeah, that's hot chocolate. That's wonderful. Okay. Okay, I just decided to steal that. Wait, that's not gonna work. Put it on the side. Use what you got first. I'm missing one that's probably in the dishwasher. Okay, measuring cups are also down here because I use them nearby here. Okay, I'm liking it. Zone two would be food storage in, in my brain. I'm not suggesting you think about your kitchen this way. I'm just sharing the way I do and the way I simplify it. So maybe it might be something you'd like to think about too. Zone two for me is food prep or food storage. Uh, so the pantry, the fridge and the freezer. I feel like I have those pretty locked down in this particular month. I mean, it changes all the time. Um, so let me show you my fridge, my freezer, and my pantry. Okay, so I'm gonna show you our party. I already zoned this a little bit. This is, uh, we are two days out from a grocery order. So what you're seeing is pretty much the bare minimum anymore. So this shelf is always leftovers or use up. This is stuff that has been open. It needs to be used up in a meal. Um, Yogurts, half and half, and uh, miscellaneous bottles. This shelf has butter and eggs, which we are out of and we have to wait two more days for the grocery order. Then it's always the containers of drink here, milk, iced tea, lemonade, orange juice, whatever. And then this is always fruit. This lane, this half is always fruit. We're down to the last of the fruit. And then I have a tray that usually goes here. I'll show it to you that keeps the meat and all of our raw meat sits here until it gets cooked. And then down in here, veggies. And in here is always just snacks, yogurts, whatever. The kids can have whatever they want out of here. And then a full drawer dedicated to cheese because yes. This is our meat tray. <laughs> it just gets washed uh, each week and then it goes back in the fridge. And then down here, um, all the meat that was prepped from last week that we're gonna, oh my gosh, the ice cream is open. Uh, ice cream and meat is usually what's in there or any frozen fruit. Pantry wise, it's already pretty zoned as well. Um, this is always our pasta shelf, oils and vinegars, our starch shelf, which is rice, stuffing, what's back there? Beans, okay. And then this is always a snack shelf. This usually has more snacks, but we're at the end of the grocery order week. And then that's breakfast, soups slash canned goods, and then peanut butter, jellies, uh, Nutellas, whatever. And then here is sweets for baking and breads. Up here for all of the baking stuff that we have that all sits over here. So that's zone one adjusted, simplified, zone two, verified that I'm, I'm okay with how it's working. I don't really think I need to reorganize the refrigerator or find better solutions for that. The pantry's working fine. I do want to find a little bit 
better freezer organization. If you have a really good freezer organization system, leave me a comment, send me an email, whatever. Help me out. <laughs> um, I, I see those bins like at the container store where you can um, organize and label a little bit better. I don't know, stuff just doesn't live in the freezer very long for us. We usually cycle it through and cook it. Zones three, four, and five. I didn't show you in this video, but zone three would be ovening, ovening, cooking and baking with the oven, the stovetop and the microwave, which, you know, is right behind me. And then I have pots and pans right down there. I can do a follow up video if you want to see zones three, four and five for me. I think zone four needs a little evaluation. I think I need to reverse declutter zone four in my head for the specialty tools and appliances and things that are less often used but I feel like I use enough that I've been keeping. And if I look at them, I might actually see I'm not using them as much as I think I am in my head. And zone five is cleaning under the sink and my cleaning products. And that's a video all by itself. And maybe I'll do a kitchen clean with me as the third part of the series. And that's sort of what I'm framing out in my head for this. Part one here, you just watched zones one and two. Zones three and four maybe would be together. And then zone five would be like a clean with me. And I can show you where I store all my cleaning, kitchen cleaning stuff, what I use specifically, how I do it if that's something that's interesting to you. So you have to let me know in a comment if that's something you want. I gotta prep dinner. The kids are at karate. I gotta get the, the rice going and put dinner on the table for the evening. Oh my gosh, look, it's already working. <laughs> I need this right here. Watch this video right here to see the whole house filmed earlier this week. So you'll be able to see what it's like here in the whole house the rest of the time. But this was my kitchen today. I'm glad you shared part of your day with me and have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.